welcome to the fourth episode of Learn to Redstone. Today, we're gonna take a look at the observer as well as both types of piston. Let's go! So, we're gonna start off with the observer. So here you can see some sort of inputs observer can detect. For example, when the lever powers on, it can be detected by a observer as well as a button or a redstone lamp getting lit. As well as if you click on the node block and node block activating and deactivating again, which would both emit a signal to the observer. Then a dropper firing and getting unpowered again. As well as a piston extending and retracting. As well as if it's just in front of it, that's that does work. So the observer does pretty much detect block states. For example, if you place water next to it and it's flowing in front of its eyes, then it will just emit a redstone signal of one tick length. So one redstone tick length and 15 redstone signal strength. If you then remove the water again, it will just uh, emit a signal again. So one particular use case for the observer is the so-called flip-flop which will get something to switch on or extend in the case of a piston. That's actually very particular to pistons and observers together. I will come to how that works a little later in this episode. So the next two components we're gonna take a look at is the normal piston as well as the sticky piston. But first things first, we're gonna take a look at the normal piston because that one is pretty easy to understand. It just pretty much pushes blocks away from itself. One particular thing about pistons is that they cannot push certain components or objects. For example, all of those ones which are in my inventory right now. A full list from the Minecraft wiki is linked down in the video description. So now I do as well need to talk about so-called so quasi-connectivity, which means you can power a piston from some weird angles, like this one. As you can see here, it will just extend, or as well if you have the redstone block at the back, it will also extend, as well as, as we have it there. Yeah, that's pretty weird, that's obvious that it gets powered, but as well, one block above, it does work as well, pretty weird. As well, when you get a piston to extend with a redstone block on top of it, the piston will stay extended even if you unpower the block below. Pretty fascinating. Yeah, yeah, this feature can be used for a lot of things, and it's really used for a lot. It can make it makes things possible that wouldn't be possible in bad condition. Because, well, how will you actually do it? In contrast to the normal piston, the sticky piston can as well retract blocks, so just pull them back again. Yeah, that's pretty cool, but there's also a restriction here, it cannot pull glazed terracotta. Sticky pistons are for example used in flying machines like this one here. Yeah, pretty cool. And yeah, it's, it's pretty difficult to stop them actually. Here we do have another pretty special feature of pistons, or actually sticky pistons, because they can spit out their blocks when they're getting powered by a 1 or a 0 tick pulse. This is a monostable circuit. This thing gives out a 0 tick pulse, which forces the piston to very quickly extend and retract again, which makes him spit out its block, so that's pretty cool. Here with the observer we get a one tick pulse which also forces the piston to spit out its block. Pretty cool. So with this you can easily build a T flip flop, which I showed you just beforehand, like a couple of minutes ago. So that's the explanation to it. Some additional information on both types of piston. Pistons can at maximum push 12 blocks if there is no immovable object in between. As well, pistons do take one redstone tick to 
retract in uh, Java edition and Bad Dog, that's a whole other story. From 1.15 onwards, there's also the Honey block that does not stick to Slime blocks, but it behaves similar to it, except it cannot be powered by Redstone, which does break some flying machines. You do need to work around that, but that's a topic for another video. If you want to extend this piston here, this works obviously because here we have an obsidian and obsidian is, as well as some other blocks, not sticky. So honey blocks and slime blocks can just slide over it, no problem whatsoever. In this situation here, the piston will not extend because this block here gets, would be pushed against this obsidian which cannot be moved. So. Yeah, and then if you remove this thing, the person doesn't realize that you can extend, it just needs a block update. And so this is it for today's episode of Learn to Redstone. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, and if you really enjoyed, then make sure to subscribe to the notified about my newest videos. Until next time, goodbye!